Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Oshinoko Season 2 Episode 7. Uh, last episode was absolutely fantastic. It was absolutely not expecting that kind of level of animation and just everything that kind of happened in the episode like out of nowhere like that. Especially for a character like Melt. Um, but honestly, he really needed that and it was really great to see. Um, it was really, well, just really nice to see that the fact that the work he's been putting in to improve himself as an actor, and um, because of the advice from Aqua, he kind of put everything he had into that one scene. And it showed. It really showed. Not just from the fact that, like, from the physical side of it, from the extra work he'd been putting in, and to kind of, like, showing off with the sword, but also, like, the real frustration that he, he suffered in real life transitioned into his character, which was just perfect. Such a good character, such a good episode, and uh, I'm looking forward to this one as well. We'll see who gets to pop off in this episode, or what's going to happen, I don't know. But yeah, very excited for this episode, so as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe, subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, we're picking up straight from where we left off. Oh, nice. Good job, Anna. Good job, Kana. <laughs> nice, kind of getting that deserved praise. <laughs> Chicken with tartar sauce, yeah. Oh, and the, the, the stage is like rotating. That's so cool. So they can go straight to the next scene. That's actually sick. Oh, here comes Aqua's moment. Wow, the stage. That's epic. The colours and shit as well look dope. Oh, this definitely seems like a more serious scene. Like, it should be serious. In the original, it was like more like outgoing and bursting with excitement, I guess. Nice. Aww. This has got to be the best feeling for the author. <laughs> this guy's character design. Yo! No? Not gonna do it? No, guess not. Now we got all these allies now. Oh, the other two people in the play. Oh, he gets his he gets his lick back. Let's go. Oh, I like that they're facing the audience instead of facing them. You can't have your back to the audience for too long in plays. Yeah, you got lost from the group. Oh, something's gonna happen to my character. What's gonna What's gonna happen? Damn, that was cool. It was with the demon slayer music again. What is it? She doesn't like it about you? Probably a multitude of things, to be honest. Aww. Oh. Something happened in the past? Flashback time. Is this little Kana? I was going to say, is this in a TV series or a movie? It looks so realistic right there. Oh, baby Akane is so cute. <laughs> Little dinosaur on the microphone, cute. <laughs> and look at the amazing actress she's turned into. Well, you'll get to know her at least. <laughs> like Her eyes are like fireworks, that's cool. Oh, I want to see what happens when... Uh... Oh, there's Aqua. I want to see what happens when they she actually meets Kana. Does she cut off her hair to be like her? Oh, cute. And so that's how her hair is. Well, not at the moment. Her hair is quite long at the moment. Until the day I met Kana-chan for the first time. Damn. She's, this is not Kana. Yeah. This idiot can't even tell this isn't Kana. Bro, 
That's fucked up. She's got blue hair, bro, just because they, they look similar. That's so messed up. Wow, what what a first impression. Damn. Ah, oh, damn. Ugh, that sucks. Oh, she, even she doesn't like it. I'm glad she was able to grow up and get, like, get more roles and actually be able to act her heart out. Damn, you slapped the hat off her? He's got a point, though. Like, you, you need to kind of become your own actress, not, like, follow exactly how Kana acts. And it's worked out for her. She's a fantastic actress now. She studied about psychology. Okay, that's so that's how, why she is how she is now. Makes sense. Oh, at least she understands this. I kind of actually kind of apologizes for what she said back then, at least. And now you're an idol. Oh, oh my god. Bro, that hit me like a brick wall, Jesus. You don't like her? Okay. Oh, Akane's popping off here. Kana's not gonna win this one. Damn. Oh, she's in eye mode. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that Aqua and the main dude fighting down below as well. Oh, everybody's fighting around the place, cool. I love the like the the effects they do on the eyes, or like fireworks and stuff. I know like the choreography and stuff is like staged and shit, but they're making it look like they're really trying to hit each other. Aw, child Akane. Really getting a spotlight. Oh, is Kana gonna pop off too? Oh shit. Is she stopping? She's not freezing up, right? She's just, like, not going that extra mile when it comes to acting here. Oh, she is kind of freezing up. Oh, shit. Okay. This is the right thing to do, but that's what Akane was saying about, like, melding or becoming what the adults around her wanted. Akane wants the ego, though. She wants the fight. Akane needs to ad-lib ad something here to get her to fight back. The scene ended? Oh, damn. What, what time period is this place supposed to be set in? It's like, there's elements of, like, present day and then, like, old Japan kind of thing. It's like a weird mix. I guess this uh, episode is kind of... Uh, Revolving around Akane and Kana. I wonder if we'll get like an Aka Aqua centric episode within the play. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next episode then maybe. This is probably gonna be the scene that Aqua and uh Akane were rehearsing in the in the thing and the director was like, You need to put more emotion into it. Right, so that was Oceanoko Season 2, Episode 7. Uh, another very good episode there. Um, I like this kind of beef and like the reasoning why Akane is so... Well, how she is with Kana, basically. Obviously, she did used to be such a massive fan of her, but because of how Kana was as a child, not... Well, it is kind of partly her fault, partly just the kind of people around her's fault. Um casting her the the way she did the way they did just not uh, because of acting or acting ability just because she's like a famous name and then because of that and because she wasn't really given her role in her acting because of that um she kind of lost lost out on roles so i'm glad that she gets to act the way she wants to now uh later in life but um it's unfortunate that here she still felt that her stepping back from the spotlight would be the best outcome for the play which it was 
but it's not what Akane wanted. And, um, yeah, they both deserve to kind of give their all when it comes to acting. So I hope that Kana can kind of change and move on from this, the child part of her life. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, overall, very excited. Uh, very good episode. I'm very excited for the next one. Um, hoping we get to see some Aqua popping off, especially with him try, try well, having tried harder to be in touch with his emotions. Um, so I guess we'll see how that's going to go. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have an interesting day and peace out.